today's workout. Today's workout is the first in a new series I'm starting for us. In this, we'll be using some light weights. I have a medicine ball that I'm gonna be using today for our exercise. And then we're also gonna be focusing on doing some stability exercises. So the stability exercises will be incorporated into our strength training. So today, if you've been doing this, you could start with these exercises. Um, if you've been doing some of the body weight exercises, this, this series would also be a next great um, step from those. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you, we have four exercises today, and I'm going to show you each of the exercises first, and then we are going to go through four sets. So we'll be doing four circuits of each exercise. So the first thing we're gonna do, and we should be able to, we are gonna be able to, we're gonna incorporate um, the weight. So you could use, if you don't have a medicine ball, that's okay. If you have a, um, a dumbbell, if you have a kettlebell, um, and just some kind of weight will work that you have around your house that is safe to use. So you can improvise. And also if you wanna do these as a body weight exercise, you really can do that too. So um, if you're starting out today, that might be a good place to start. So let me just show you our squats first. Um, when we do a squat, we wanna think about, one thing we wanna think about is where our legs are. So we wanna position them about shoulder width apart. And then when we sit down into our squat, everybody's gonna kind of be in a different place depending on how flexible they are, depending on, on their strength, and that is fine. So where you are today is great. And then just, we just keep working at challenging ourselves and um, improving each day. So today we're gonna be having our hips, or I mean our feet about shoulder width apart. Our toes are gonna be turned out slightly. And then when you sit down, I want you to think about the weight going into your heels. So we're gonna take the medicine ball and just hold it in front of us today. But as we stand up out of the squat, we're gonna press the medicine ball up into the air, okay? So you're gonna hold it at your chest and then you're just gonna go ahead and sit down into your squat and just think about putting the weight in your, your weight in your heels. Like you should be able to pick your toes up off the ground a little bit. And then you're gonna squeeze your glutes and stand up. Once you get to standing position, you're just gonna press your weight straight up overhead, bring your arms back down and then go back down into your squat. So that's our squat with the overhead press. The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna challenge our balance here on this one. So this one, um, we're gonna go back up overhead with the weight. So one thing you wanna watch is when you go overhead, I'm gonna show you this on both legs from the side first, is when you go overhead, think about activating your core. So bring your belly button in towards your spine, grip your weight on the other side, and then activate your core, raise your arms up overhead, and when you get them up overhead, um, you're gonna have them mostly straight. You can have a little bit of a bend, but you wanna watch out is that they're, your arms are just forward of your head. So you don't wanna let your arms swing back over because as you can see, when I swung back over, now I'm leaning back, now I'm putting a lot of strain on my lower back. So activate your core, stand nice and strong, bring your arms up just in front of your head and then back down. But what we're gonna do to challenge ourselves on this one today is we're gonna be on a single leg, okay? So we're gonna go up and overhead eight times on each leg, all right? So we'll go like that, we'll go eight times and then we'll switch to the other leg and we'll go eight times on the other leg. We'll do, in this series, we're gonna do a lot of single leg exercises. Do as many as you can. It is also totally okay to progress this and have one leg up and one toe down, and then eventually just trying to lift that toe up off the ground as much as you can. The next thing we're gonna do is a side-to-side -side twist. So um, for this one, we're gonna have, have the weight in front of us. It's okay if your arm is bent. Again, we're gonna go right into a single leg on this one, and we're gonna twist to one side as far as you can, back to the center, and then twist to the other side and back to center. So again, we'll do eight twists on our right leg, or on our left leg, I'm on my left leg first, and then we'll switch to the other side, and we'll go eight twists on the other side. So when 
You want to let your head stay with your shoulders on this one. So just as you twist, let your head let, just keep staying in line with your shoulders and just tracking as your shoulders move. So that is our, um, our side to side twist. And then the last one we're going to do is an up and over. Again, single leg stand, or it's okay if you want to be on one toe. And you're going to do a bicep curl. You're going to start with your arms straight down in front of you and holding your weight on both sides. You're going to do a bicep curl, press up overhead again. Remember on this one, make sure you're not going back, but keeping your, your um, weight just in front of your midline. And then you're going to bend your arms. So you're going to drop that weight behind you. And then you're going to extend your arms again and then bring your arms back down in front of you. So we're gonna go eight on one side and then eight on the other and then we will repeat it all. So have some water, that is really great. Grab water whenever you need to, take, press pause whenever you need to. If you wanna take a break, that is fine. And we'll go ahead and get into this, okay? So we're gonna do four circuits of each of these four exercises. So we're gonna start with our squats so holding our weight at our chest, arms bent, feet are about um, shoulder width apart, toes out slightly, and then just sit deep down, as far deep down as you can go, and then come back up, press arms up overhead, and then bring them back down. Sit down, squeeze your glutes, stand up, and press up overhead. And we're going to do 10 of these. Four, seven, and ten. Very good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our straight arms up. So we're going to start with our, our arms straight down in front of us, standing on one leg, and we're going to bring that weight up and overhead. Remember, just forward of your head a little bit, and then um, we'll do that eight times on each side. So one, two, and don't worry if you lose your balance a little bit. I probably will once in a while. more. And eight. And then just switch to the other leg. Up and overhead. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. One more, seven, and eight. Very good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is our single leg twist. So again, just switch over to the other leg. Arms are gonna be out slightly. You can have a bend in your arm, and I want you to twist to one side, and then twist back to the other. Go eight times on this leg. Seven and eight, and then switch to the other side, twist, two, four. and eight. 
Very good. Okay, last one is our up and over. So again, on one leg, arms straight down in front of you, bicep curl, press up overhead. We're gonna be forward of your head slightly, drop down into a bicep curl, back up overhead, and down. There's one. Press up, drop down, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to switch to the other side. There's one. Keep your core activated, two, three, four, five, six, there you go, four more, seven, and eight. All right, good job. One round done, we've got three to go. Don't worry if you find you're a little bit wobbly, if you have to touch a toe down sometimes, it's totally fine. Just keep progressing in. Balance is something that we practice, but it's really important to do. It's important for all of us in our everyday lives. It's important if you're running, if you're cycling, if you're doing any kind of sports that, that we work on balance. And one thing I didn't mention in the beginning is that I like to, um, do these workouts in bare feet because that just adds to um, having to really work on my stability a little bit more. All right, let's go back into those squats, okay? So we're gonna go 10 squats, starting with the ball at your chest. Squat down, press up overhead for 10. is going to be straight, arms are going to be straight. Start with one leg. We're going to keep straight arms. They can have a little bend. That's okay. Up and overhead, just slightly forward of your head. Eight on each leg. right into the other leg for eight. Three more. Awesome. Go ahead and switch right back over to the other leg. We're gonna hold the weight slightly out in front of us now and twist. Eight on one leg, and we'll go eight on the other. Two more. Right into the other leg, twist to one side, one, two, this one's extra challenging for me for my balance, a few more.
Awesome. And then right back onto the other leg. We're going to do up and over. So start with the fall straight down and extended arms. Curl up. Press up overhead. Drop back down behind you. Bicep press to come out of it. Eight times on each leg. one, switch legs, three of these, two, three, four, five, six, Last one, and eight. Okay, grab a sip of water. We're gonna go into our squats. I wanna say before we go into our next circuit is you should start to feel this weight a little bit. So if you have a weight and you're like, I don't feel it at all, or if you're using body weight and it's like, hey, if this is super easy, I want you to step your weight up a little bit. So grab a can of soup, grab something if you're doing body weight. Add, uh, add something to it, add a water bottle. If, um, if you're using weights and you have a, a next heavier weight, a pound or two, go ahead and increase it. If you're doing these and you feel like I can't keep my balance or my, my arms are just getting too fatigued, then you go ahead and drop it down a little bit or go as many as you can, set your weight down and keep going through it with body weight. But I wanna encourage you to keep going and finish the entire workout. Okay. Back to those squats, weight's gonna be at your chest, sink down into your heels, and you should feel your, the, your toes lift a little bit, okay? Squat down for 10. There's four, you guys are doing great. Couple more. All right, back into our single legs. So straight arms up and down first. So start on one leg and up. Remember, don't swing it back over your head. Switch to the other side. Couple more. Six. Seven. Switch to the other leg, now into our twist, eight each side, or eight each leg. One, two, three, four, five, Switch legs and go again. One, three, four. Three more. Hang in there.
Good job. Switch back to the other leg. And we're going to do our up and over. So bicep curl, press up, drop the weight down behind you. Extend up overhead and drop it back down for eight. One. Two. Three. Four. more and then we're gonna switch now switch legs and just go straight into the other one into the next repetition there's one two three four And eight. Very good. Okay, we're going to go right back into our squat. So into our, our last circuit of these. So start with the weight at your chest. Drop down into your squat. Weight in your heels. Squeeze your glutes when you stand up. Activate your core as you press that ball up overhead. And we're going to do ten of these. Now we're just going to go into our single leg exercises. So standing one leg, straight arms down first with your weight down, and then just lift up overhead for eight. There's four. Keep going. Good job. more. Switch sides. Eight on the other leg. There's two. Last one, last one. Good job. And then switch legs again. We'll go right into our twist. One, two, three, four, five, couple more. one and switch to the other side. There's one, two, three, four. Keep going. Six, hang with it even if you get a little wobbly like me. Seven. And eight. And then switch legs one more time. We're going to do one more set of our up and over. So bicep curl, press up overhead, drop your weight down behind you, up over and down. Eight of these on each leg. Two. Last exercise. Three, four, six, seven, and 
eight, and then switch legs, eight more, almost there. Keep your core strong, keep that standing leg strong, four more. And last one, and eight. Very good job. All right, so get yourself some water, get in some stretching after doing these, and great job today. Just keep progressing, keep staying consistent. These are exercises that don't take a long time to do. They, you can do them in your home, you can do them with minimal amount of equipment. The key is just stay consistent, and keep challenging yourself every day. Have an awesome day. Keep going.